Hey everyone, and welcome back to AIverse. In today's video, we're diving into a really interesting new model that's just been released by Alibaba. It's called Loomis Custom, and it's all about manipulating the lighting and mood in your images and videos. What exactly does it do? Well, Loomis Custom allows you to dramatically alter the ambiance of your visual content. The really cool thing is that it works for both still images and video clips, giving you a lot of flexibility in how you use it. Imagine taking a brightly lit daytime shot and transforming it into a warm, inviting sunset scene, all with just a few adjustments. All with just a few adjustments. So over here is the GitHub page, and over here you can find the examples and everything. There's a CSV file as well. So this is the prompt. So I'm just referring this and seeing what prompts are gonna be useful. So these are a few examples that they have given. Okay, so you can check this out on your own. I'll give the link in the description down below. So now let's go to the Model Hugging Face website where the model is. So this is the Alibaba's main Hugging Face website. Over here you can find everything you need to know. The model incorporates RGB space geometry feedback into a flow matching backbone and is supervised with depth and normal maps derived from its outputs. This aligns lighting effects with scene structure, improving physical plausibility. Let's see the model. We're gonna use the Kajai's FP8 version. So over here, as you can see on the, not the FP8, sorry, the BF16, and this is WAN 2.1, 1.3b. So it's a very lightweight model and it will work on even six gigabytes of VRAM. Okay, so this is only 2.5 gigabytes of size and here's the workflow. Over here is the main file that you want to put in our video and over here if you want to change the background you can change the background. So we've taken this to videos and we attach the resize node so it can perform a little better. And over here we have transparent background. We're using this and WAN video encode for the encoding. Over here is the VAE loader and text prompt. So over here you have to write the text prompt. And even if you don't write the text prompt properly, it will do it. So I've checked that out as well. So over here, Laura, this is the main file, Loomis and WAN video sampler. So we're not using the digital model yet. I'll show you that as well. So we're using 30 steps and six CFG. So this is the video that we got. Okay, this looks pretty good. So the lighting has also changed. So as you can see where there's a white tube light, the lighting changes on her face over here. So now let's try the LoRa as well. We're using CauseVid LoRa for one 3B text to video. Okay, and so now we have to use one CFG and around eight to 10 steps. So now I'll compare both the videos side by side so you can know which one is better. So let me just save this files first of all, and we're using everything else. The setting is the same, we just added the LoRa that I just told you, and this is what we got. Okay, so it's a bit dimmer. And this is what we got. This was without the LoRa on the left-hand side and right with the LoRa. So I would prefer the left-hand side one because that is literally see as you can see the tube light going and her face is lightening up. So that's better. And this took around one minute in the RTX 4090. And with eight step, it took around one minute, 15 seconds. So you can even use 25 steps without the LoRa. I would prefer to choose 25 to 30 steps. That's the minimum, okay. Now let's take another few examples. So let's take this video of a park and let's take this girl right over you and we'll write this, okay? This prompt, you can pause it and read it. So this is the girl and the background was that. And now we, on the previous one, we were using a 832 by 480. Now it's 1,280 by 720p. Okay, and 121 frames. It's up to you guys, whatever you wanna choose. Okay, using without the cause, Vidlora, okay. And this is what we got. 
looks pretty good. But nothing significant is happening because it's daylight time. Okay, and over here. So the previous video was 16 frames. Now I've changed it to 21, as you can see right over here. And in this, I don't know why. I think it's because of the black dress, as you can see this spot and everything. Okay, now let's try one more example to see if the spots are there or not. So we using the same thing, just the prompt is different. You don't have to write this lengthy prompt. The small prompt provided should be sufficient for the task at hand. As a demonstration, consider the example of a black dress. I specifically wrote black dress in the prompt to observe the model's ability to make alterations to existing visual elements. The objective is to change the color of a garment. In this instance, transforming a white t-shirt or simply a white shirt into a black shirt. This highlights the capacity to modify colors within an image. Okay, let me walk you through the process and showcase the results. This is the black shirt that the subject is now wearing. I initiated this change to illustrate that the model's capabilities extend beyond merely transferring backgrounds and adjusting lighting. It can even modify tangible aspects of an image, such as the color of clothing. This opens up possibilities for creative image manipulation and customization. Okay, so the previous image resolution was 832 by 480 pixels. Now, I've processed the image to 720p, which is a significant increase in resolution. Let me show you the difference side by side. Again, we are using 720p for the enhanced version. On the left-hand side, we have the 720p rendition, and on the right, the original 480p version. As you can clearly see, the image on the left-hand side is more vivid and displays greater detail overall. When you zoom in closely on the 480p image, you'll begin to notice the individual pixels, giving it a blocky appearance. In contrast, the 720p image offers a much sharper and clearer picture. This is a more HD or high definition representation. So let's bring this video to a close right here. If you found this video informative or helpful, please show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel for more content. Peace out.